What's the latest? Yes, good morning, Romeo. I'm still here at Wakaliga, at the palatial home of the Lord Mayor Salongo Elias Lukwago. Umrodi, you as the chief superintendent of the city, I just want to know, ye just yesterday, you as KCCA, are you failing to ensure trade order? Because year in, year out, we see the confrontation between the, the, your KCCA enforcement officers who are working with the police and the traders in, within the city. The traders are crying over the vendors, but you, the chief superintendent and your councillors, we don't seem to see a lasting solution for creating trade, trade order, which has also resulted into also the injuring of uh, an innocent student yesterday, but also we saw years back, years back, we saw many people having to go away with injuries and others losing their lives over the confrontation and confusion within the city. Why is this so? Well, uh, first and foremost, permit me to register my sincere uh, uh, apology to Ugandans for whatever is happening in Kampala and also extend my empathy to the smaller kid, the little, kid, the younger one, the unfortunate kid who sustained injuries yesterday, it was really uncalled for, and the entire business community that suffered the mayhem that was occasioned by our forces. I take the responsibility for and on behalf of the institution, but not as an individual, because for us, as political leaders and policy makers, we have always endeavored to come up with the, the necessary mechanisms that would engender and a proper and organized trade system in a Kampala. Mm -hmm. And we, laid, uh, we came up with an elaborate process, first and foremost, to streamline the legal framework because the existing legal framework was not up to date. So what we did, we said that we have pressures. There's an influx of so many people from all over the country who come and do business in Kampala. But the absorption capacity is very, very limited. And there is a lot of unemployment in Kampala. And the government measures at a macro and a macro level are not uh, uh, up to date. So what we decided is to come up with these top gap measures to ensure that at least we create some, some uh, order in the mm. city mm. by balancing both interests. The interest of having order in the city as well as the desire for people to make a living. So what do we do? What did we do rather? We said let's gazette particular streets where at least these vendors can ply their trade. They are rather their merchandise. Sorry. So we said we came up with a, a list of those 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 particular um, streets and roads and also created a mechanism where they would be licensed because it it, it can't be just uh, business as usual, and people come, uh, they, 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 they put their merchandise by the roadside in any open space in the middle of the road. You said, no, we must come up with a mechanism of giving these people licenses. And we created a system. We started, I mean, uh, enacting an ordinance. We consulted a number of stakeholders, including, including the street vendor. They all accepted and said, no problem, we shall do that. Unfortunately, the process has been delayed by the technical team because we st started with the initial process phase of preparing a bill for an ordinance, which bill I prepared mm -hmm. together with the, my team. But it had to be processed now by the technical team. Up to now, it hasn't. I, the other thing is about impunity. We have a gentleman called... Uh, Maybe, Lord Mayor, I just also want to ask you about yesterday I saw Omolod heading to St. Peter's Primary School in Indeva. But we, isn't it ironical and confusing to see a, the KCCA, the Minister of Education, Minister of Land, uh, the Church of Uganda, just sitting maybe in offices when there is confusion, when there is uh, a land eviction that is also going to in injure and affect many students, who has, people who have go to school, many Christians, this land case that is happening in Deva, isn't it uh, something that you as authority in government and KCCA should come up and sort it once and for all? Allow me just one, mm. one minute to, to first conclude on the first issue. Mm. Uh, the question of impunity in a Kampala where you have uh, the, 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 uh, Mr. Chituma Magala, I mean Rusoke, 
whom we identified as one of the problems in the management of the, uh, of, of the city affairs. And we requested the people who deployed him at KCC to take him away. He's, he's the one who purportedly brought all this in problem, the chaos we are having. Uh, because he, he created an empire of sorts in Kampala, where he's now uh, the head of the enforcement illegally. He's a police officer whose docket actually should be different, whose role in the KCC should be totally different from law enforcement, mm -hmm. but is now purporting to be the head of the enforcement team. Mm -hmm. And he's been there for close to a decade. Since the inception of KCC, he has been there. His colleagues have been reshuffled, have been redeployed, have been taken to other sectors, but for him, he's there permanently. We must have him away. He must be, he must be taken away. And those, we have also come up with a mechanism of disciplining our errant enforcement officers. Last year, on the same day, 11th of, the, of March, March, we took a decision as KCCA. There are law enforcement officers in the KCCA. That you didn't prosecute. Who were supposed to be prosecuted. But we, have to, we passed a resolution. I presided over the authority meeting. And we resolved that they should be prosecuted. Okay. But they were left off the hook by the minister, by the then minister and the team that were there, who said no. They are untouchable. So we must deal with impunity within our uh, law enforcement agencies. that impunity agency. you're talking about, the one we're seeing at Ndeva? Exactly. This is what is happening. You have a, a, a facility of that nature, which has been in existence for the last 40 years, over four decades. Now, you come up uh, with the, a questionable court order to cut out an eviction without even conducting a local scene call, without even as coming to the scene to ascertain exactly what is happening. It's really very, very unfortunate. You cannot just bring down a structure of that nature just like that in a brazen manner. You bring down the school, now you have created a crisis there. Our children are just starting now from a makeshift structure there. You can see now it's about to, to rain. What's going to happen there? They're in a very deplorable situation right now. And this is the case you see in Rusanja, the case you see all over the country. So there is collusion. I'm sorry to say this, and the Chief Justice should take a note of this. There is collusion between these so-called tycoons and some judicial officers who issue obnoxious orders, uncalled for orders, which occasion case catastrophes, which occasion crises like this one, which occasion may What is the solution to this, other than petitioning him and telling him? No, for us, uh, we have been handling it case by case. Mm. But I think we need to have a holistic approach to this war crisis. Okay. Because it's not sustainable, it's not feasible to keep on jumping from one scene to another. Mm. From Rusanja to, to Safi, to Ndeba, to everywhere. I think we must come up with a comprehensive and a holistic approach to deal with this particular situation. Thank you, Omlodi Salongerias Rukwago. I think now Nalongo, have to hand you back to Nalongo. Maybe he will, before he comes and take, takes you away for breakfast. This is morning at NTV. Stephen Mbido on Fefe I've been here in Wakaliga, the home of the road mayor. Now taking you back to studio. Romeo Busiku, take it, take it over from me, my brother. Thank you very much, Stephen Mbide. He was talking to the Lord Mayor of Kampala, that is Arias Lukwago. We shall get you more details on, in that regard. What is happening at KCCA and also the young people who are locked out, the one million voters. That was the conversation I was ha having with Mr. Chidioa Chiwanuka from KNK Advocates and Ms. Sara Birete from the um, Center for Constitutional Governance. They are really brilliant minds and they managed to put a lot into 